questions for you. Tell me. Would you believe that this is a record-setting summer? You know what? Yeah, <laughs> it's really hot. Would you believe that it is challenging for an all-time hottest summer? My goodness. Yeah, I believe it. And would you believe that it's hotter than last summer? Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All good, I, I all feel good it answers. in my car specifically when I drive <laughs> over here and I'm drenched in sweat. you have no air conditioning yet. <laughs> Let's take a look at today's highs. We hit 104. That was our forecast high for today at all three of our climate reporting sites. The only one of our sites to reach a record high was Lufkin. It tied the record high of 104. Set back, oddly enough, in 2011. All right. I want you to pay attention to the next four to five days. Currently, we sit at the second longest streak of consecutive days with a temperature of at least 90 degrees. By Sunday, we will eclipse 2011 and move into the all time longest summer stretch of 90 degree days. Now, when we take the overall temperatures, and I looked at the Regional Climate Center and the Applied Climate Information Center, so this is still unofficial, but we will get this nailed down before summer is said and done. We currently sit at the second hottest summer on record, eclipsing last year by almost one degree. So it has been especially hot. We've been dealing with this upper level ridge of high pressure. It's been sitting over top of us. At times it has wobbled back to the west. It's come back over top of us. So this week into the weekend, it's sitting almost directly overhead. So when it's sitting directly overhead, all that air piled up underneath it's pushing down on us and it creates a ton of sunshine and a ton of heat and we have to wait for it to move away. Now I'm gonna stop it here and then pay attention to the next graphic and I'll this will explain why I stop it here. This is the edge of that hot air. So that's gonna retreat back to the west. It will allow a front to come through. Winds will turn to the north and cooler air should be arriving next Monday night into Tuesday. The high temperatures, 107 Thursday, 105 on Friday, 104 Saturday, by Monday, upper 90s. Those tonight dropping into the lower 80s. Very stuffy night. Walk out the door and look at Nacogdoches, 84. I mean, that's kind of suffocating air that you'll walk into. It's just that kind of a muggy, just still night. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you. We look at Thursday, it's hot, it's dry, but look at that. A couple of isolated showers are starting to pop up. We have little cumulus clouds developing tomorrow afternoon, much like we had today. That's evidence that the ridge is slowly breaking down. Friday starts off with sunshine. Friday afternoon, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms as that ridge begins to retreat. Now, watch where the winds are coming from on Sat Friday afternoon, Saturday. They're approaching from the northeast. That's evidence of that circulation around that big high, and that's starting to bring in some slightly cooler air. Rainfall forecast, maybe a little bit Friday, Saturday. And again, Deep East Texas probably has the best chance until we get to Monday with the front. Then Monday into Tuesday, as the front comes through, we could see a quarter of an inch to maybe a half inch of rainfall in some spots. So it's not gonna break the drought or anything like that. In fact, it may not relieve our red flag warnings, which now continue until tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. And we also have the excessive heat warning until nine o'clock tomorrow night with heat index values up to 115. Thursday planner, 85 degrees at 8 a.m., 100 degrees at noon. And we'll see a daytime high tomorrow. Look at this, 107. I think this is a little overdone, but 107. That will be a new record high for the day. All right, here's the Bill Scott White Texas Point Joint Hospital 7-day forecast. So another record high tomorrow, 107. Isolated afternoon thunderstorm possible, 105. 104 Saturday, isolated thunderstorm Sunday. Finally, the heat wave breaks on Monday. Highs in the upper 90s, and we could see a couple of days, maybe three in a row, where we avoid triple digits. We'll see how long that lasts in the 10-day forecast tonight at 6.